Hi there, welcome to the tutorial on exporting. Here I'll teach you all about the different exporting formats available with Crazy Talk Animator. We'll start off with images and image sequences. Once you have selected a frame that you would like to render, you just need to go to the export area and the export options will appear at the right of your screen. Since we're doing images, select the image tab. You can change things such as the quality and size of your image below. You can also select the preview button which will launch a preview of your image in your image editing software. I'll just click export here and save my file. Here's the final render. For an image sequence, just select the range of frames you would like to export and click the export button. Once you have selected a name, all the images will be saved according to numerical order. You can see that as I go through the images, the animation will progress. Video is next, so that means you'll have to click on your video tab. If I open the timeline, I can see exactly where the last action takes place. Alternately, you can also see the frame number you are currently on at the bottom of your stage. I'll play through my animation first just to see the range of frames I would like to render. Once you enter the frame range, you will see two red indicators appear on your timeline. Now, once you play your animation, the playback will only be between these two indicators. When you're ready to export, make sure you select the size and format of the video you'd like to produce. Crazy Talk supports a variety of video output file formats as well as video sizes and resolutions. Select the drop down menu to see all the available options. You can also adjust the frame rate. A higher frame rate will result in smoother animation, but there will also be a larger file. You can also export in iWidget format so your output file can be used to make a widget with WidgetCast. Simply select the iWidget format for output, confirm the frame range you would like to render, and click the export button. Now I can drag the file into WidgetCast and import it as a pop widget. You have the option to get rid of the background and make your widget transparent and draggable. Simply click the checkboxes for these two options and you're good to go. Now you can see our little transparent Einstein widget being dragged across the screen. If I drag and drop this PNG file of a chalkboard, you can combine it with the Einstein animation and use it for a great looking educational widget. Pop Video is another exporting option available with Crazy Talk Animator. Follow the same steps with the other video output formats and select your frame range, then select the Pop Video output format. Pop videos are videos with transparent backgrounds that are ideal for import into programs such as iClone. I'll show you a couple of examples. If I import it as a prop, then the animation will simply import as a 2D panel in a 3D environment. As I rotate around the animation, you can see that it's clearly two-dimensional. If I import using the billboard option, the image is always facing the camera. The last one is image layer, which is like a layer that is stuck to the lens of the camera and won't change angle or position despite camera movement. You can also export to the web in flash video format. Since these videos are intended for web usage, they should be smaller with a lower resolution. If you want larger high quality renders, you should select the AVI export option or others. One of the unique options for web output is that you can produce an HTML page upon export as well. Simply select the Produce HTML page box and continue to the export. As you can see here, the web page is produced. Simply click the flash video to begin playback. Finally, Crazy Talk Animator also includes the option for 3D stereoscopic output. Simply check the box labeled Enable Stereo Vision Output. Once you do this, click the drop down box to select which type of 3D output you would like. The slider bar for the convergence distance will also be enabled. The convergence distance is the distance from your camera to the focal object of your scene. You can fool around with this setting in preview to get the results you need. I'll preview once with a really close convergence distance. You can see that the scene objects don't appear that close to the screen. If I preview again with a longer convergence distance, however, most objects will appear to pop out into the foreground. That's about it for the export tutorial. The flexibility with input and output options is just another advantage that makes Crazy Talk Animator a premium and easy to use animation software solution.